Kermit's mad at me, so I just picked him up by his armpits. Too far in my armpits. So this week, I wanted to make a video about something that I realized because Julian ordered us a present and I got like way too excited about it. You know, I had to really take a step back for a second and be like, wow, Jenna. Really? Wow. And it has to do with being an adult and getting excited about things as an adult. I am going to be 29 years old in the fall and I am certainly not a child. I am a full grown adult. I've been realizing this about myself that I get more and more excited about some of the dumbest things I could ever imagine. According to most cultures, religions, legal things, whatever, people are adults between anywhere from 13 to 18. So most of the people that watch these videos are adults physically. I think mentally being an adult is very different because my definition of adult doesn't have to do with your age. And I'll tell you how I get here, okay? I came up with this definition of adult on um, Thanksgiving when my mom was here and we had just baked a lovely pie and it was in the oven, we're getting ready and I started thinking to myself, hey, you know, when that pie comes out, I have no way of serving it because all I have are a bunch of forks and knives. So why did you even bother baking a pie if you can just like stab it out with a fork and then serve it to somebody in a pile. Why did you even cook that pie, bitch, if you're not even gonna serve it to me? Fuck. So Thanksgiving day, I ran out. I went to the store that was open and got a pie server so that I could properly serve this pie without it falling all apart and you know, being weird. And I was kind of upset about it because my mom's here like having a glass of wine, everyone's like cooking and enjoying the day. And here I am going to the store trying to get a fucking pie server server and I was angry and I come home and I like put the pie cutter on the counter and I looked at my mom and I was like mom you know what the definition of being an adult is buying things that you hate <laughs> I don't want a pie server I don't want to have it I don't want to spend my money on it why am I buying this right now because you have to because you're an adult you don't have to buy a pie server it's not about that but you know what I'm saying I think that regardless of your age or you know wherever you are in the spectrum of adulthood you are only an adult when when you have to spend your money on things that you hate, that to me is being an adult. Like if you are a college student and you're going to college, what do you have to spend a shit ton of money on? Books. I don't want to buy all these books. I'm not even going to read half of them. I have to carry them around all day every day. I don't, I don't want to spend my money on that. You are an adult, my friend. Paper towels and toilet paper. Two of the worst things to spend your money on ever because you always have to. You for some reason are always out of toilet paper and out of paper towels and I can't can't account for most of where it goes. I don't know where it goes. Why do I always need to buy this? Adult. I don't know, a fucking, a chair. Whoever wants to buy a chair? Not me, I don't wanna buy any chairs. I don't wanna buy anything. Sit on a couch. Why Why can't I just use my couch or my bed for everything? Why do I need a chair? Oh, cause once you have a, you know, a little more space cause you're an adult then you gotta fill it with chairs and shit. It's stupid. Trash cans. You know what's stupid? Having to buy a trash can with your money dollars. What are you gonna fill this with? Literal, actual trash. Hey, got my first paycheck. Shit. Too bad, I need a trash can, so better go buy one of those. This to me is too real. When you buy your first set of coasters, you are officially an adult. Not someone gave them to you. You bought a set of coasters, yet there's no surface in your house that's gonna get ruined if you put a wet drink on it. And then when someone comes over, you tell them, oh, we have coasters. Full blown adulting. You are all the way adulting. <laughs> that being said though, when I do get to do things that I like or spend my money on things that I like as an adult, I like relish it, okay? It's very exciting. And the things that I get excited about are very different than what I used to get excited about, which is only normal. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I am full blown adulting and ain't no shame in my game anymore, okay? I'm gonna tell you the entire purpose that I made this video is because Julian, as a very sweet gift to us, bought a crock pot on the internet and it came to the house and I'm really fucking excited about it, okay? I like almost lost my shit. First of all, what a sweet, thoughtful gift, okay? The gift of like slow cooking. Amazing. Second of all, I got excited about the words crock pot. Someone said crock pot and I said, oh, 
Funny you should say that, Julian, because I already have like 12 recipes pinned to my Pinterest board, and I only have one Pinterest board, okay? And it's called Feed Me. This is not new for me either because I got excited about a bunch of my appliances. Like for example, when I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, which is, you know, adult heaven. I hate all of these things, yet somehow I love them all, and I brought coupons. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond years ago to buy my toaster oven because my oven oven wasn't working. So what do you do? You buy a small oven to place on top of your oven oven to be your new oven. And so I asked the guy, are any of these toaster ovens like better or worse than the other ones? You know, I don't want to buy like a $5 toaster oven, but like, can you engage them a little bit for me? Let me know what I'm working with here. And he looked at me and he was like, oh, this one. He was so overly dramatic about how great this toaster oven was, right? And I was like, okay, <laughs> you sir have a full blown case of the adulties. It's just a toaster oven. And I think that I had said that to him in person. He was like, no, 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 you don't understand. It is just the best thing in the whole world. And I didn't really believe him until I brought it home. Cause of course I bought it. Cause he sold me on it. How are you going to say no to, oh, this one. I can't say no to that. I'm sold. It is baller. It is bad the fuck ass. And then I realized that I too have a case of the adult thieves, a crock pot and a toaster oven. What? Also on the note of appliances, I was as a child very excited about one appliance. It was an electric can opener. His name was Larry and I loved him so much that when I was a camp, my mom would not write me one postcard. She would write me two postcards, one from her and one from Larry the can opener. Okay. So I had a problem with Larry, but it's not because I loved the way that he opened cans. He was my friend. Okay. It's different. Now I just really, really like appliances. The next thing I get excited about as an adult is doing nothing. I love to do nothing like I've never met anyone else that likes to do nothing. There's nobody that I've ever met that likes to do nothing as much as I do. And what's crazy to me about it is that as a kid, doing nothing is a form of punishment and or torture. Go to time out. You're being bad, go to timeout and you sit and you do nothing. It is the most torturous experience ever, right? If it's the summertime, my biggest fear growing up was like being bored. Oh my God, I don't want to be bored. What am I supposed to do right now? I need to do something. All my friends are out of town. I better go ride my bike to a 7-Eleven and get some bubble gum before I die of boredom. And now I get so excited about the possibility of just doing nothing. Like the more nothing, the better. Like I'm the type of person that will go lay outside and just stare at the sky. Like that's how hard I like to nothing. I've also realized the importance of doing nothing because it doesn't serve for nothing. It quiets your brain. You have better thoughts. It's a, you know, a shut off. Whenever I have like a day off or something where I don't have to do anything, you know what I like to do? Nothing, nothing at all. Just sit on the couch and do nothing. I would say my passion in life is nothing. <laughs> my favorite thing to do and I will do anything to get to the nothing. I love it. The next thing I get excited about as an adult is pretty specific, but it is amazing. If you have never went to a store and invested, you know, 10 to $50, however fancy you want to get here, but like $10 can get you a good one. A new pillow girl, what an investment that is. It's economical. It's wonderful. It feels so nice. You're like, why didn't I get a new pillow a long time ago? I don't know friend, because you didn't think of it. Get a new pillow. The next thing I get excited about as an adult is making a new friend. It's really exciting because when you're a kid, like, yeah, maybe you have like one or two close friends, but you're like in school, you're surrounded by people your age, like everybody's sort of doing the same stuff. You're all in the same place. Everybody has a lot in common. But as an adult, I don't know about you. I will speak for myself, but I fucking hate everybody. I hate everyone. You suck. You suck. Everybody fucking sucks. I don't know what the fuck everyone is doing. And when you make a new friend, it's really, really exciting. You don't suck at all. Where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. You're like a fucking unicorn. I've been looking for you in a sea of people I want to punch in the face. Another thing I get excited about as being an adult is when you go somewhere and you need to be 18 to be there, even like a website or, you know, whatever. And you're not lying anymore. <laughs> 
And the last thing that I get excited about by being an adult is being on the ground. I know, it's fucking, it's a little weird. But when I was younger, I used to love roller coasters, flying. I wanna go bungee jumping and skydiving. Is that a submarine we should get in it? Let's go swim with motherfucking sharks. One of the best and worst things about being an adult is that you get exposed to vast amounts of information and experiences. So I have come to the conclusion that you know where I wanna be? The fucking ground. If I wake up today and I'm on the ground, it's gonna be a good day. If I wake up on an airplane, fuck! I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna hug my pillow on the ground and I'm gonna love it and I'm gonna do nothing. That's what I get excited about. Tell me what you like and are excited about as an adult. If you're older than 13 to 18, I think mine aren't too bad. They could be worse. Hopefully you're like me and every once in a while you just get like way too excited about something where you're like, that little part in your brain is like, the fuck is wrong with you? The other part of your brain is like, I don't know man, but crockpot. Does anyone wanna come say goodbye? Okay, my dogs fucking hate everyone. That's how you know that they're adults uh, because they stopped caring about me. I am now their food machine. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday slash Thursday. Let me translate what they just said to you. That's what that. Okay, I'm literally gonna go check on uh, the crock pot because I'm making some shit. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye, friends. Bye. Thank you.